December and does not rise June 21, 22. So it separates the south rigid zone from the uh, south right, and separate zone. Right? So the Antarctic Circle and the Tropic of Capricorn. And last one, the Arctic and Antarctic Circle. As far as Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle vary in location, Right. So, slight variation is there because of minor fluctuation, uh, fluctuations in Earth's axial tilt over time. So, because of uh, Earth's axial tilt over a time, you do have a slight variation in between these two. So, the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle are also referred to as polar circles. Just consider the polar circles. So here you can uh, consider the Arctic and uh, Antarctic circles, which are being uh, which are being shown. How they are being shown? So you can see here, right? This one, the dotted red line, right? Called Arctic circle. As far as this dotted line relate in the Antarctic, no, no doubt some part of Antarctic you see uh, you, you seems to uh, left out of this uh, circle, but almost is covering here some part of also very small part of uh, Arctic Ocean is also being left out. So these are the two things you do consider. That's where you can come to know about North and South Poles. So as far as North Pole, right, you may consider no land at the North Pole, right? Nearest land is around 700 miles away. Uh, again, that is covered in, in a very thick layer of ice. So when you are standing on this pole, that is at North Pole, right, any direction you point is South. Any direction you uh, stand is south means what? You can just consider how much small that could be. That means what? You would be always directing the south. So all the lines of longitude meet at North Pole. So during summer, the sun is always up. So the sun rises in March and sets in September as far as North Pole is concerned. The magnetic North Pole is different from the True North Pole. This is another important point. Question of uh, factual kind of things, right? Or the factual question. Very easy answer. Difference between these two, right? That means what? Is there any difference? Yes, surely there is difference between these two. South Pole. Uh, this pole has a desert climate. Its its uh, year humidity is near zero, right? Though or however. High winds can cause the blowing of snowfall, as well as accumulation of snow amounts to about uh, a great layer of, of 20 centimeters. That to be happening per year. So almost uh, it, it never gets above zero degree in Antarctica. Right? So highest uh, recorded temperature is uh, seven degree Fahrenheit. So during this, uh, during the po uh, South Pole, uh, it take all the time. Right? So, as far as summer is concerned, it is light 24 hours a day, though the sun is very low in the sky. And then North and South Poles, altogether, if you consider, so the North Pole is located at 90 degree north and uh, or at a 90 degree angle from the equator and the South Pole lies at the 90 degree uh, south or 90 degree angle from the equator. So both are technically points, but are considered as latitudes for geographical purpose. This is what you do have in the uh, north, in fact, related to the uh, latitudes. Fine. So there are some of the other things that we will uh, cover in next session. Today we will stop here. Anything which you would like to convey, ask, comment on, you are free to do so.
Is there anything? Okay, if nothing else, uh, thank you, Ritesh. We will stop here. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.